Thank you. Senator Cantwell. Thank you, Madam Chair. I want to thank the uh, chairman of the committee and uh, Senator Murkowski for leading the charge last year and banning uh, Russian energy imports and commend the administration for putting a price gap on Russian oil to help cripple Russia's key revenue efforts in funding its war. I think the vast majority of Congress and the American public agreed that we needed to continue to punish Putin and his cronies for the outrageous assault on Ukraine. I think what we also need to think about is how we continue to learn lessons here and move forward to make sure that our economy is not as vulnerable to the continued role and pain from various markets and to continue to make investments that are going to help us diversify off of the sources of energy that we are on today. I do want to focus on an aspect of this hearing, though, um, and that is the vulnerability of our nation to cyber attack, uh, our pipeline to foreign agents. The weapon here is not withholding oil or natural gas supplies, but rather disrupting them. I see a nod already from the Director General. The Colonial Pipeline System cyber attack two years ago was a wake-up call exposing the threat facing our nation's pipeline infrastructure, and it was not just pipelines. According to a uh, uh, CEO who testified before this Committee on Cybersecurity Threats last year, Russian hackers got dangerously close to knocking out a big chunk of the American grid, and the Russian malware they used is still out there. So after Colonial Pipeline, as well as the Texas Big Freeze event, it became clear that we can't ensure the reliability of the bulk power system without ensuring the reliability of the natural gas pipeline. And the two are linked, our bulk electricity system and our national, our energy pipeline system. So uh, this committee, thanks to the leadership of Senator Manchin and Murkowski, Murkowski recently directed FERC to establish incentives for cybersecurity technology investment in the bipartisan infrastructure bill. But I believe more needs to be done uh, than FERC Chair uh, Chatterjee and Commissioner Glick called for a 2018 mandatory cybersecurity standard for pipelines. And with the help of the North America Electric Reliability Cor Corporation, NERC, and FERC, they have approved and enforced vital mandatory cybersecurity standards for the electricity system. These standards work and have been around for over a dec decade. But as I understand it, um, that there are no comparable mandatory comprehensive standards for nearly 3 million miles of natural gas, oil, and hazardous liquid pipelines across the United States. That's why I plan to introduce legislation that FERC uh, has a clear role in protecting our pipelines for cybersecurity attack. So, Mr. Light, do you believe that cybersecurity threats to the natural gas pipeline, including those by foreign state actors like Russia, represent a serious threat to our national security. I, I do, Senator. Okay, thank you. Well, we'll look forward to working with the administration then on trying to get that done. Uh, absolutely, you. Senator. And can I say, yes. can I add one quick thing? Just yes. that it's not, I think we have been also working out of my office, in particular on strengthening cybersecurity also with our partners in Eastern and Central Europe. We started with Ukraine. Some of the $30 million appropriation that my office got before the war started was focused on trying to clean out the Ukrainian energy system so that it could prepare for integration with the European energy system. We have our signature partnership with Eastern and Central Europe is called the Partnership for Transatlantic Energy and Climate Cooperation. Our ministerial with 24 countries and Secretary Granholm will be in Zagreb on March 1st and 2nd. We have a working group on cybersecurity that I co-chair with Lithuania and several members there so we can use the, the, the abilities that we have at Idaho National Lab at PNNL as well to train a number of governments in the region also to know how to hunt out, find, and secure themselves against cyber attacks from actors like Russia. Thank you, Dr. Light. Appreciate that. Cool.